Operating systems are what make computers, phones, and tablets work the way they do. Without an operating system, you wouldn't be able to do anything. It would just be a pile of components. Even typing in text characters, like they did before Windows and Mac existed. You type in command line characters to do something. That was also an operating system. It was called DOS. It stood for Disk Operating System. Clever. But anyway, a while ago I did a top 5 worst operating systems ever. You can click right there to watch that if you like. This is the top 5 best operating systems. Alright guys, so before I start I just want to give a bit of a disclaimer. So this is mostly based on my opinion. I didn't go somewhere and look this up. This is just my opinion based on what I know these versions of operating systems have done for the future and what they've done for today's market and how they've changed what we are what we look at as an operating system today. All right. So, number 5 is Windows 8. You're probably thinking, "Oh, I hate Windows 8. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it." Don't don't hate on Windows 8. First of all, Windows 8.1 and an update for Windows 8.1 have come out since Windows 8 has, making it much easier to use and it's very much improved. When I say Windows 8, I'm referring to Windows 8.x, Windows 8 anything. Anything to do with Windows 8, that's what I'm referring to. Because Windows 8 was the most changed version of Windows since Windows 95. Windows 8 discontinued the start menu and brought in the start screen which is a completely new way to use the computer it also brought in the charms bar and all kinds of new stuff that is completely different from anything any operating system has been in the past besides windows phone of course now i put windows 8 on the list because of what it has done it is basically mapping the future of windows i know that they're they're going to get rid of the start screen and bring back the start menu as they as they showed us at build but windows 8 is still in there you can see the apps run inside of a window instead of just being full screen and the there are live tiles in the start menu instead of a big start screen so windows 8 is still mapping out what windows is going to be if they went from windows 7 right to what this new version of Windows is going to be, whether it's Windows 9 or 8.2, it probably wouldn't look what it looks like right, what it's going to look like, because the star screen hadn't been there to influence it. I put it at number 5 because there are many more operating systems that have been better for the evolution of computers, like number 4, Windows 95. Now, Windows 95 was arguably the second most changed version of Windows ever, and a lot of people say it's for the better. In fact, it was. 1995 was a time when computing was difficult to learn. Using a computer, even though there were graphical operating systems like Mac and Windows had already been out for a while, for 10 years in fact, Windows 95 just made it so much easier to use and it mapped out the way Windows would be for the next 17 years. That is very influential. For the next 17 years from Windows 95 up until Windows 8's release, Windows had a start menu in it and a start button. That was just the fundamentals of Windows. That's what Windows was. That's what defined Windows. Windows 95 changed way more than just the start menu and the start button. It also added a taskbar where you minimize programs would go down to. There were three definitive, you definitely knew what they did, minimize, maximize, and close buttons in the upper right corner of every single window in the operating system. It brought, it made it more logical to use. It was just so much better than any anything had been before that. Windows 95 was easily number four number three is the next step operating system why is some operating system from a relatively minor company from the 90s which is no longer around why is that one number three the reason is here's what happened with the company here's why it doesn't exist anymore it kind of does apple owns it apple bought it and they merged into apple so they are now a part of apple 
the next step operating system had a dock before OS 10 did. That is why I am saying that it is number three, because it has kind of inspired Apple to include a dock into OS 10, Mac OS 10, which they would release in 2001. They still make versions to this day, it's just point one updates. They used to name it by Jungle Cats and Big Cats. Now they name it by Beautiful Places in California. Next, they'll probably name it by freaking, I don't know, Colors, Mac OS X Purple. No, but the biggest thing really about Next Step Operating System was the dock. Speaking of Mac OS X, that's number two. The first version of OS X released in 2001 was the first version of Mac to have a dock and it was completely reworked. They had these things called sheets where if it pl prompts you to save it, save a document before closing the program, it doesn't just pop up in the middle of nowhere and it could get lost from the program, it stays right on the window of the program. They have all kinds of new things in OS X. It's nothing special now, but back then it was fantastic. And it was so awesome. And Mac OS X, like I said, is still being produced to this day. They're still making sub-updates. It was released almost 15 years ago, and it's still being produced right now. Pretty influential, if you ask me. An operating system still being made 15 years after its initial release date. Good job, Apple. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Number one. Number one is. Dun, dun, dun. Android. Now, when I say Android, I'm going to say Android 4.0 and up. So basically, ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, and Kit Kat. Why am I saying Android? And why is this the only mobile operating system that I'm mentioning in the whole video? Because everyone steals from it. Alright, alright. I'm kidding. Not everybody. Apple. Really. Look at iOS 7. And iOS 8. Android has had those features for a long time. Before iOS did. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing that Apple copied it. I'm just saying... Android's really the most influential mobile operating system out there, and it deserves number one because it's influencing the second most popular, iOS. The features that are in Android 4.0 and above are still in versions of Android today. The overall theme of Android looks the same, roughly the same, with the darker, darker colors, the dark status bar at the top as opposed to the white one like it used to have. The whole way it lines up and the way it looks is great, and every version of Android since 4.0 has looked pretty, very similar to 4.0, and it looked, looks great, it really does. And like I said, the features are making their way throughout Windows Phone and iPhone and all kinds of stuff, so I'm giving Android the number one here because... Not only are they influencing future versions of themselves, but they're influencing other operating systems. They're not just influencing themselves like Windows and Mac. That's why they are getting the number one spot. So guys, that's been it. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment if you have a comment for me, if you want to tell me something, if you want to ask me something, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, check out my friend Alex's channel. He's a tech guy just like me. He's working on getting a regular schedule going. Link will be on the end screen. I will see you guys on Monday.